So hi guys, we're going to be focusing on today getting this spoon drawn. So we have a nice silver spoon here and we want to get the, the texture of it, which is very smooth and we want to get this all this shiny lighting that we're seeing on it. So the first thing we're going to do is we need to set our spoon at a nice suitable spot where we can draw it and uh, represent all the lighting and details that we're seeing on it. So we're going to first start out now with um, also making sure that we have our pencils available. So I've got here, I've got 6B, I've got 4B, I've got 5B, I've got 2B, and HB is a nice pencil to start out with. So I'm going to start out with my HB pencil and I'm going to start to work on the drawing bits of the composition. Right? So, the first thing I'm going to do is angle it or put it at a spot that I, I love to uh, draw it at and I'm going to then decide where to go with. I'm going to start with the, start the, the spoon, the head of the spoon here. I'm going to work my way along the tail. So, I'm going to first now hold my pencil. Very important, I hold your pencil as gently as possible. And you're going to use your, your pinky finger to get that balance on your page. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get that nice circle bit on that paper. Yeah? Now, once you've gotten that, it's time now to think about the tail bit. How does that then transition into the tail of the spoon? So the first, the next thing we're going to move into is we decide how long we want that to be. Yeah? And while it's your drawing, you have to make sure that you are observing the lines of the spoon. Uh -huh. Try and be as gently as possible with your, your lines as, as, as well, because that also helps you to be able to erase any mistakes, should you make any. And you Keep that pencil as steady as possible and you work your way through. Now, once you've gotten that, so I've pretty much gotten here a drawing bit of the, very light drawing of the spoon. And what I'm going to go into now is the hardening of my line. So I'm going to think now, I'm going to switch between my pencils. So I'm going to go on to my 2B pencil. So I take my 2B pencil and I'm going to be working my way through you know, these lines that I want to keep. So I go and I do my dark sections. So you want to search for the darkest section, search for the underneath sections where the light is not shining so much and you get those areas as dark as you can. Right. No. Try not to darken the entire spoon. Try and make it be that you just focus on sections where the light is not shining so much because you want to keep the, the section that the light hits as, as, as faded as possible. So next to, ne next to no lines. So you're going to use hints of lines to show those bits. Eh? All those lines that I've, I've drawn, I'm going to use the eraser to take out all those construction lines that you're seeing. I'm going to take those out as best as I can once I'm through. Right. So now it's time for me to do my shading. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to then use my pencil and I'm going to be lightly shading the shape of the, pe the spoon that I've drawn in. And it's okay to leave some sections light because that's going to help you to see the form of the spoon better shade at this point it doesn't matter if it's dark or light keep it very keep it keep it light for the first go to um, because that's going to be useful to you and as you get into the details of it you darken now you can use your fingertip and you can smudge you can smudge that neatly in so you can use your fingertip or you can use uh, paper tissue, very soft tissue, 
and you can also rub those sections in as well. All right. So if you choose to use tissue, that's fine because sometimes it does hurt when you use your fingertip. So go as lightly as you can. And don't worry about it getting messy. It's, it's, it's a technique called smudging. It's going to look messy the first go. And as you shade, you smudge. Use your fingertip, smudge. Smudge, 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 smudge. And try your best to keep it within the form. Yeah? Now, at this point, that's what it's going to look like. Yeah? Looks a bit grey, looks a bit dirty. So guys, so now that I um, know with the smudging bit now, I've done my smudging with my fingers, I'm going to go more in detail with um, the pencil. So if you don't want to use your fingers as, as I was saying before, you can go into getting a piece of fabric and you can just rub over the sections you want to get the tones in. Right? Just make sure you're keeping that clean and nice as you're going along. Yeah? And once you're done with that, you're going to look for the sections you want to get a bit more dark because you want that three-dimensional look. Yeah? 6B, that's the pencil that we're going to be using. And that pencil is going to give you a better, more uh, qualitable uh, piece of work. So what you want to look for also is is the areas where the details come through, for example, where the designs are on, and you're gonna shade into that as best as you can. Try and get your pencil point as pointed as this one because this does help to get those precise fine lines and you just work your way through. Okay. Try always to think about dark and light as you go. So when you shade, you go dark to light, or you can go from light to dark doesn't matter, all you need to just remember is there's always going to be a dark and a light section and you try to get these lines as clean as possible and once you get those smudging in use your eraser, now here's a trick you can also work with you can take pieces of the rubber off, the eraser off and you can have this to get your fine detail lighting in so if you want to go with this, this is a perfect one to go with and you're going to then um, put some highlights in so the rubber can always be a thing that you use now to just put a bit of lighting on. So this is what the finished product looks like and uh, that is how you do a nice detailed drawing of your spoon. And for any other utensils you may have, it's the same principle. Just make sure you're remembering to have those pencils and to keep your object very still and you draw it as well you see it. Alright, thanks for tuning in guys. Hope you enjoyed that.